no. going on and welcome back to another adventure in today's episode we have the gmc safari outdoors and we're going to be doing some mountain biking i just picked up this 2018 santa cruz tall boy it's an awesome bike i've gone on a couple test rides with it and now we have some real trails out here to give it a shot with it feels good to be back in the van doing some stuff outside and we actually have some stuff to cook up right now for lunch before we hit these trails so let's go ahead and get that set up so we can go have some fun and get real muddy. So what is on the menu today, you might be asking? We got all of our ingredients already prepped in this little cooler right here. And what we're gonna be making is a shrimp burrito. Nice and simple, good clean protein, and it's gonna give us plenty of fuel for hitting these trails. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is adding some butter to this small pan right here. That's what the great thing about this rear door table is. I can cook outside, I don't have to cook in the van and get it all smelly and whatnot. Next thing we're gonna do is add some of these red onions I have diced up. If you're more interested in the interior of my Astro van, go ahead and click the link in the top of this video and I'll show you a little bit of a tour around the inside of this thing. We have a cool little tablet mount, a sink with running water, and a nice full-size pull-out bed. We just use our camp stove for cooking on this back door. And yeah, I love this setup. It is absolutely ideal for me and it lets us come outside to places like this enjoy a little bit of mountain biking with the comfort of our kitchen and our entire home. So if you're a fan of these style of videos where we just get outside, enjoy the outdoors, do a little bit of cooking, do a little bit of camping, some mountain biking, maybe some fishing here and there, let me know down in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. We are on a track to hitting 1,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So go ahead, help me out. So what we're gonna do next is add our shrimp. We just have this marinating in a little bit of avocado oil, garlic, onion powder, and some salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin. The smell of that shrimp when it hits the pan with that butter and the onions is incredible. We're just gonna let that do its thing and we'll wrap it up in a burrito with some lettuce and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. So we're gonna just steam this tortilla with the residual heat from this pan. And then we have some lettuce we're gonna be adding to this little burrito, a beautiful LaCroix to enjoy. Nice bed of lettuce on here. Don't skip out on the lettuce, adds that nice crunchy, refreshing touch. And then these onions and all that seasoning and the shrimp right on top of that lettuce. So I guess we'll do a quick lesson on how to wrap a burrito. Pretty simple, just take the sides, fold them over, take this back end, and just try to tighten it up as much as you can. Kind of like to fold these little ends in, and then you just roll it. Kind of throw these over the side too. You have a perfect burrito. Mm. Just like when you're at home, take your dirty dishes and you pop them in the sink. Our sink's pretty small though. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good until we get back. This is so nice, we could sit in our little insulated space and get all of our gear ready to go.
I've never had a bike like this before. This Santa Cruz tall boy is so nice. It's great for climbing, great for descents. Just overall super nice. Like we made it to the top of Dutchman and now it says this way is a trail called Springboard and it looked like a climb still so I want to keep going up as much as I can so I can have a really fun drop down. Looks like it's going to be awesome. It's been a lot of climbing but you gotta earn your turn I guess. And I'm the only one out here so let's have some fun. Oh this caught my attention. Santa Claus with his butt out. Oh no, it's a gnome. I got a nice gnome man with his butt out. That'll get you uh, distracted on the trail. <laughs> no. Well guys, we have a broken chain. We might have an issue here. What are you smiling at? It looks like it's not even the master link that came apart. This is just unfixable, I think, for the moment. This is a bummer. So it is what it is. I guess we'll have to just ride down chainless. But before we do, let's just take a quick moment to appreciate this. I would have 100% kept riding this. Oh well. Clearly the chain was on its last life. Frame is 100% in perfect condition, which is really what matters. You can buy new components, you can buy new tires, new chains and stuff like that, but the frame is what's important to look at when you're buying a used bike and there's no cracks, nothing like that. It is a carbon fiber bike, so it's pretty important to make sure that's all good. So we're gonna go ahead and I guess put the chain in my pocket and then rip it down this mountain, almost four miles back down to the car. So not too bad. I guess the moral of the story is just have as much fun as you can despite if things don't go to plan, it could be worse. Could be hurt or something or my brakes could have went out just make the most of it have fun i wish i could pedal in these spaces but i'm just gonna try to keep my speed up
We threw the extremely muddy bike right into the cargo space. It's nice that we have the space to be able to throw the bike back here, but I do need to order a hitch for this van. I already found one that's pretty much just bolt on and I have a bike rack, so that will work out perfectly fine. But for now, I just wanted to give this thing a test ride and clearly we need some tuning. Can't wait to come back here though. The trails look awesome once it's a little bit warmer and the trails dry up. So that's going to be it for today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed this one. It just kind of goes to show you that not every single adventure works out exactly how you would like it to. Took the Santa Cruz out on these trails. They were super muddy. We broke the chain. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, make sure that you hit the like button on this video, comment something down below, and make sure to subscribe so we can get this channel to 1,000 thousand subscribers before the end of this year. Do hard things and as always we'll see you in the next one.